Hello and welcome to this iClone 6.5 tutorial on creating VR360 output directly from iClone. Now iClone allows you to take any project and turn it into a VR ready experience that you can use inside YouTube, Facebook, and then also viewable on any kind of head mounted display like the HTC Vive, the Gear VR, uh, Oculus, or other HMDs that are out there in the marketplace now. Uh, currently, there are over a million different Gear VR headsets in the market, a little over 50,000 HTC Vive, a lot of opportunities out there for content development, and iClone gives you an excellent way to get started with that. So, the features inside iClone work as before in that you are able to just drag and drop to lay out a scene, and you can see inside this beach scene that I've put together here, I'm giving my viewer something to look at all the way around so that no matter where they look whenever I drop them in my experience they'll find something interesting to see and iClone allows you to have a nice environment to set that content up quickly and easily. So let's show you how you can just drag and drop and bring in some content real quick and then we'll enable this scene for a VR experience in our new panorama mode that we have inside the modify panel. So let's get started. To add some content to your scene, iClone allows you to bring in either models from your own library or use the Reillusion Marketplace, or you can bring content in directly from things like 3D Warehouse. And 3D Warehouse is an excellent place to get content to use very quickly. You're able to search the warehouse and find something that is useful nearly every time for the type of scene that you're working on. Uh, especially for previs, this is a great way to work. So I'll bring in this boat here, and I've actually selected to bring in the uh, model into 3D Exchange. And then inside 3D Exchange, you can uh, smooth the model and then set it up with textures or whatever you need to do in order to work with it. And then go ahead and take it into iClone. And so we'll do that uh, by sending it over to iClone. And I'll switch over to my back to my iClone. And then inside the content menu, I've got this saved in my custom folder. And it's just saved as little boat. And so here it is. And I can just click and drag to add it to the scene. So the building of scenes is really simple. I can just use my transform tools here and then rotate that around and get it where I want it to go. And so you can lay out scenes very quickly with iClone as you have always been able to do. And now these scenes are able to be viewed in VR ready content. So now that we've got another item in the scene, we'll go ahead and take a look at what it takes to set up the scene in order to have a better experience inside VR. So let me go back to my camera tools up at the top here and zoom out a bit and just show you. I'm gonna use this central point here, the center beach um, as my initial drop in for my virtual reality experience. So I'm gonna be setting up a camera here and I've got that actually already set up. You do this by going to create and then camera and then you're able to place a camera in the scene and wherever your preview window or or preview angle is at that moment is actually the where, where your camera will be set up there and then you can further edit it so use the preview camera to get your initial view and then you go ahead and set up your camera and then once you've got your camera set up which i already do i'll go to my scene menu here and scroll down to my cameras right here and I can look in the scene tree and access those. And then I can also look at the view. Here's the view of the camera. And the camera view that I'm gonna use here is going to be my initial view for my VR experience. And any camera inside iClone can actually be that camera. And the way you enable it is over in the render panel we can open up and see that we have a new section called Panorama. And in that section, there's a check, check box for enable panoramic vision. And the render view will allow us to check from image or video. And if I switch to video, 
I can go back down and look at enable panoramic vision and then also enable the 360 for YouTube and Facebook. And so these experiences can be easily viewed in VR or even on your desktop or mobile phone um, with the 360 enabled uh, version here for YouTube and Facebook. So when we set that up, it overrides the entire camera. So any focal length or anything we had set up then is now um, taken over by the 360 panoramic view. And to see what is happening here, we can go ahead and render out a, a quick uh, image. And so I'm going to switch back over to image and then I've got my enable panoramic vision open. And then another tip is to turn on your super sampling. The super sampling is important because it'll give you a higher detailed uh, export view or, or quality. And then also the high quality shadow is also important because it will give you just exactly that, uh, especially if you're using exterior shots like I have here. So let's go ahead and render this. It'll ask us to name it and we'll just call this beach view. And then once that renders, it's going to stitch together the entire 4K scene. In fact, the output size you can see here, we've set up as uh, 4K. You can adjust this and uh, select from different, different sizes of video out output as well as image. For the video, you can go up to 4K as well as image if you're on Windows 10. Otherwise, on Windows 8, you'll be up to 2K. So we'll go back to iClone and here we can switch back out into our preview camera and then I'll also turn off my enable panoramic vision. It's important when you go back into editing mode that you turn this off so that you can work in your viewport. With it turned on, it's a little more difficult. So I normally turn it off in order to continue editing. And for editing, you can also remember that the cameras we can place anywhere in the scene. And so we can do multiple different VR angles and views with just using additional cameras. So you can choose different places. Like if I wanted to have a camera over here on the deck, then I can set that up, which I've already got. If I switch to my deck cam, then I can see what a 360 render would look like from this angle as well. And so I can go back over to my render and then enable panoramic vision. You'll notice now that everything is set up for us to render in 360 view again. And so I'm going to make that render and we'll name it again. And we'll, this time we'll call this dock view. And then as that renders, what we'll see now is what this will look like all the way around from uh, a VR perspective on the dock. And this just gives you an idea of how to preview what your panoramic would look like. And then also a way to give you 360 panoramic ready, VR ready images. Video is also the same and we'll start an export process there. Now this render is interesting because you can see exactly if you're standing on the dock, you would look out towards the ocean and you would be able to turn back and see these statues over here. I have a smoking volcano over here and a ship that sails. And then there's going to be an airship that flies through here in just a moment as well. So when we have our scene ready and we've done some previewing for putting together our VR content and what our VR 360 cameras are going to look like, then we can go ahead and render a video. And so to set that up, we'll go on to our next step. Rendering a VR ready video inside iClone allows us to export the entire scene and all of its animation in a VR ready experience. So I'll switch back over to my preview camera for a moment and let's just hit play and you can see that I do have some animation in my scene. We have some audio that we've added as well for some ambient effect and I can just pilot around here with my camera and you can see I have an airship that's flying in onto the side and we have a nice skiff out here in the ocean that's sailing along that will turn and come into port and then we also have smoking volcano that our users or audience will be able to take a look at and then the turning windmill and so on so there's a lot for our users and audience to take a look at inside the VR experience, including the tree animation 
that's made possible with the integration of SpeedTree inside iClone. So in order to set this up for VR Ready Export, we'll go ahead and switch back over to our render panel. From the render panel, we'll select the video option. And then we can select what format we want, the different compression that we want to apply to that, and then also our video output size. First thing we want to make sure that we've done is we've enabled the panoramic vision and then turned on the 360 enabled for YouTube and Facebook. So we want to have that turned on. And then we want to select the camera view that will be rendered in this render export. So we'll select from the drop down menu and select one of our cameras that we want to render from. So I'll select this initial camera view from the beach and then I can scroll up to select my output size. And remember from the output size, we have some limitation based on operating system. Windows 10 will be able to do up to 4K, Windows 8 users, 8.x users will be able to use up to 2K and so on. And then once you have that set up, remember that we'll be rendering very large video sizes. So you'll want to prepare for that by having available hard drive space, as well as a bit of patience for longer videos as they will take some time to render but it's totally worth it in the end with your output. And once you have that set up, your panorama turned on, I would suggest to turn on super sampling and use either two by two or the high three by three, depending on what you like, you can test render to try that. And then again, with a high quality shadow, you'll also want to set up the range of your export. And so for this project, my animation range, I don't want to export the entire timeline, but just from frame one to frame 3768 is what I have set up here on my flag. So that will be the range that I will animate and then also export in my render. And so I have everything set up and ready to do my render now. And so now I can just come down here and select the export button to fire off the render. And then we can name this. So I'll call this Waterbury 02. And then we can start rendering. Once your render starts, you'll see the frame count up begin as the render progresses. You'll also see a limited portion of the viewport. This section is actually just uh, a little preview area that you'll have of actually the entire 360 export. So even though the view is a little smaller, you're actually exporting the full 360 video during this time. Now let's take a look at our exported video once it's finished. You can use viewers like 360 video or others or send the video file directly over to your VR headset. Once your video is exported from iClone, you're ready to view it either with a head mounted display like the HTC Vive or Gear VR or Oculus, or you can just view it right on your desktop using a 360 video viewer like Video360. And so I can start the video and then start looking around just using my mouse. You can see our tree animation, our windmill in the background. We also have our beginning of our volcano firing up, our airship coming in. And then we can just peer around. We've got our sailboat out. You can zoom in a little bit and see that as well. So the iClone VR ready content creation platform is the fastest way to get started in creating VR ready content or adapting your content and models into a VR ready experience that's easily to generate and animate directly inside iClone. So check out the new features of iClone 6.5 and enjoy making your own VR ready content. You can take these videos and upload them directly to YouTube or Facebook and share them or use them just as we do here in this VR 360 viewer. So however you decide to enjoy your VR ready content, iClone gives you a great way to create your own content now in iClone 6.5. Thank you for watching this tutorial on creating VR ready content with Reillusions iClone. For more information about iClone, Check us out online at www.reillusion.com.